Okay guys, this is a quick and rough video that will show you how to enable ability to make a screenshots on your NPCs so you can use it later on for your websites or tutorials or whatever. At the same time this video will expose quite serious vulnerability of those machines. So maybe let's get started with it. Um, okay, let me zoom out a little bit. As you can see this is plain vanilla system nothing been done to it it wasn't ssh it wasn't hacked cracked or call it whatever you want uh, as you can see if i try to ssh to it it won't let me because obviously as i said nothing been done to that machine yet uh, problem is despite the fact that we don't have access to the internal file system we sort of have it. Uh, all we have to do is to create a symbolic link that will point, up obviously, as long as you know what the internal file structure is. But as long you, as you know what the internal file structure is, you can create a link that will point to any folder inside of your machine that it's not accessible from for the end user. Yeah. So let's say I'm gonna, uh, yeah, actually I would have to go to controller mode to expose my hive drive in that machine. But I'm just gonna create a link, for example, over here in drive D. So we do LNS, S stands for soft link or symbolic link or call it whatever you want. And that will go to media az01 internal. And this is a Windows machine, so the other part of that line is gonna be kind of <laughs> fucked up. Uh, because we want to do it on drive D, so that's gonna be mm, mount D, I suppose. Uh, and yeah, there we go. There's our shortcut. There's our link. And now we can take that link and drop it onto SD card or we can drop it onto our hard drive or whatever. Yeah, I've made several such links uh, on my MPC already. So let's go back to MPC so I can show you what's going on over here. Well, if you go to browser and we go I've created a folder called test and I've created three symbolic links over there. One points to internal memory, one points to internal SD, which is separate partition for user files. And I've created user, which will expose all Linux files. As you can see, I've got access to all files over here, bin, etsy, libs, libexx, share, akai, <laughs> all test apps and everything you've got access to it obviously the browser in mpc won't show you any files it will show you folders only but the problem with this is you can press shift and you can delete anything you want any folder you want you can delete and essentially brick your machine this is that vulnerability i was uh, talking about before but okay let's go back to our trick uh, when we've got access to internal, we can create folder called dev mode. It will enable devel developer mode. And in order to do it, all we have to do is just to press save, project us, and now we can navigate to our link on internal memory, create new folder which is called dev mode do it and now as you can see we are in dev mode yeah we've got dev mode cancel the everything obviously because we don't want to save anything over there and now when we create new project or reboot mpc or whatever you'll see that we are in actual developer mode 
And now, if we press Shift and all four pad banks all together, it will ask us for oops. It uh, MPC will ask us for a path where we want to save screenshots. Once we select that path, hit close, and then we can press all four pads all together, or all four pad bank buttons all together, and that will create a. Sh uh, that will create a screenshot. Obviously, I can't show you that now because uh, I'm not in. A Actually, if I'll go to controller mode, it will expose. Yeah, it will expose my drive to the system, so I will be able to show you that. Mm. Let's go back over here. Come on, MPC O2. Screenshots, there you go, capture. As you can see, let's make it smaller. I've got PNG screenshots. There you go. And that's the trick. The only problem is uh, that file system. You can delete anything you want. You can delete whole Linux out of your MPC and just essentially break it. That's the only problem and only vulnerability. Will Akai fix it? Uh, doubt it. Considering the fact that most probably they on to 3.0, 3.1 software now, working on that one, pff, we won't see any like patches on 2.x. Oh well, anyway. This is how you do screenshots on your MPC. Cheers.